Hey, what's up everybody? It's Trey. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Becoming the Mandalorian, a video series where I break down how I became the Mandalorian. So today we're going to be making our very own Mandalorian helmets from scratch. 3D printing, sanding, painting, weathering, making our own visor. I think I got it all. Let's do this. All right, let's see if you guys can tell the difference. Which one is the resin cast and which one is the 3D print? Let me know in the comments below. So I really love my resin cast helmet from Star Child Props. If you guys haven't seen that finishing video, I'll leave it right here. But since I 3D printed all the rest of my armor, I kind of felt a little guilty about not making the helmet myself. So that's why I wanted to have a go at it. I got all my armor files from Great Ape Studios on Etsy. He's widely known for having some of the best files out there, but also some of the most screen accurate files out there. I'll leave a link to his Etsy store down below. So it was just natural that I wanted to use his files again. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right into Cura. Cura is a slicing software. It's super popular and I really love using it. You can load in your 3D printer. You can see my printer right here. I use the Creality CR10S Pro V2. I've had this printer for almost a year now and I absolutely love it. Uh, one of the biggest things is that it's a larger printer so I can print whole helmets on here, as you can see here. So this is my longest print to date at four days, 16 hours and 15 minutes. I have it loaded in here already. You can see this big square the big square is a support blocker. So anywhere that I don't want it to print supports for the overhang areas, like right here, it won't. So that saves me some time. And I'll show you right here. So I print everything with tree supports and they look like little trees, kind of cool. <laughs> now originally I printed the helmet at 100% and it was way too big. Even for my big dome, my 23 and a half inch head, so I went and reprinted it at 97% and that seems to be pretty good for me. So now that we've removed all of our tree supports, it's on to sanding. If you're gonna get into 3D printing, you're gonna need to learn to love sanding. I know a lot of people use electric sanders, but I'm just so afraid that I'm gonna mess up my print and have to print it again, that I just do it all manually. I'll put up my process right here if you wanna screenshot it, but the overview is I start off with a 180 grit followed by a 220 then primer, then a 320 and 400 wet sand, primer, 600 and 800 wet sand, primer, and then a thousand. Pro tip, hot glue sandpaper to paint sticks. It makes it a lot easier when getting into places like this visor here. Filler primer. I like to use Rust-Oleum's two-in-one filler primer. I go over it each time with a light coat, and since it's a filler primer, it helps fill in layer lines and any imperfections before the next round of sanding. Wet sanding, sanding with water, you got it. So by definition, the water acts like a lubricant plus helps remove tiny particles so that the sandpaper doesn't get clogged and doesn't create deep scratches. Personally, I feel like I get a really clean finish without taking off too much, and also it gets rid of that sanding dust. So to save time, I'm gonna fast forward through this, but it's all these different stages of sanding, priming, sanding, and priming. Before my final sand, I went ahead and attached my detail pieces, that's the back vent, and then the ear pieces with some five minute epoxy.
For screen accuracy, I filled the seams on the ears with some spot putty, and then I did one final sand. Now that we've got all of our accessories on, one more coat of primer, and then on to the paint process. So it's two coats of Dupacolor Gloss Black Acrylic Enamel, and then two to three coats of airbrushing Alclyde Chrome on. I use a relatively cheap airbrush system off of Amazon paired with the Pache H-Series airbrush. Now this isn't a totally chrome helmet, so it's best to do light passes to make sure it doesn't go on too heavy. So we are looking pretty good. The paint job come out pretty good, pretty happy with it. Uh, here's my original helmet. So now what I'm gonna do is go in and paint the, uh, the black accents on the side of the helmet. So the screen used helmet has these black accents on the ears as well as more chrome than the rest of the helmet. So I'm gonna tape that off and then we're gonna hit it with the uh, acrylic paint to weather this bad boy up, cut the visor, and I think we're good. Let's keep going. So I did a test with doing the black accents on my original helmet and it came out pretty good. So I'm just gonna use this paint pen so people don't get mad at me for this. I'll say it once and I'll say it again. This is my most favorite part of any build. That's weathering and making it look screen used and dirty. I use a combination of dry brushing where I paint it on little by little and then wipe it off. And then I also water down the paint and go back over that. I look at the screen caps from the show and I try to figure out where dirt would naturally accumulate and go from there. All right, we're getting down to it, so now I'm gonna do the visor. I have the Hobart 770580 that everybody loves. So I'm gonna put a piece of cardstock in the helmet. I'm gonna trace that out, and I'm gonna transfer the cardstock to the visor, and then we're gonna cut that out with some uh, clippers. Pretty easy, let's do it. To secure your visor, you can use a little bit of hot glue or epoxy and Chicago screws, but I just use a strong gaff tape, LOL. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's move on to padding. A lot of people use football helmet pads, but I like to use EVA foam strips so I can custom fit it to my head. And spoiler alert, I use gaff tape here as well. Done and done. I really love this thing. You can really tell the difference between the two helmets. This, I, it's, it just looks like the shape of the, the, the Mandalorian helmet from the show. Super happy with it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Which helmet do you prefer better, this one or the other one? This one. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, throw a like on there, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, create, don't hate, and peace. I'll see you guys.